KLBK Sports Connection with Leah Doherty. For these players that are coming in that are a little bit wounded, um, she's going to be a mother to them. I mean, I would send my daughter to live with Krista any day. She might not be at home because she'd be working all the time, but <laughs> um, she's just a great overall human being. Former Lady Raiders from the 93 National Championship team giving their thoughts on the new leader of the program. Krista Gerlich will be taking over as the head coach, the search coming to a close just 12 days after Marlene Stallings was fired. Tech fans were first introduced to Gerlich when she played on Marsha Sharp's National Championship team. She later would return to Tech as an assistant coach, helping lead the team to two NCAA tournament appearances. Her first collegiate head coaching job came in 2006 when she went to West Texas. Texas A&M, leading the Lady Buffs to an Elite Eight appearance. She then took the head coaching position at UT Arlington, where she has been the last seven seasons. Gerlich saying she can't wait to take this program back to where it's supposed to be, and she'll be doing that with the support of her former teammates. I think it's a perfect choice. I think Kirby did a great job uh, picking Krista. She's always been an inspiration to me. I was fortunate enough to play under her at Texas Tech and she was nothing but positive and encouraging. She always knew the right things to say at the right time. She's just warm. People can't help but love her. Um, I mean, she, I mean, she's, she knows how to work the room. She's worked hard and, you know, she's had great jobs. I know that uh, WT and um, UTA have, tr I mean, treated her well and she's loved those places, but tech is home. This is this has been, you know, this isn't a job that's a stepping stone for her, so she's trying to get somewhere else. This is it. This this is this is this is her big time. This is for Lady Raiders for decades. And uh, we we've got a very loyal group. Everybody's just for each other and, and definitely in this situation for Krista. So it, it's been exciting to see. It's the 2020 Blitz preview. We continue our Blitz 2020 previews with the District 2 2A Division 1 Sundown Roughnecks. After a postseason run last year with an 8 and 5 overall record, the Roughnecks will start several new faces this season, returning only two starters on the offense and four on the defense. Defensive end Brandon Kinley and likely QB Carson Holson are among the four all district selections that the team will lean on to help get them through any early season growing pains. One thing we learned as a team, as a coaching staff even, was just stick to what we're doing. We're doing the right things. Uh, don't, don't, don't panic about if things aren't going our way early. I mean, I had people come to me and say, hey, y'all did a good job turning the season around. I, I, don't, I don't know that it was really a turnaround as much as it was, like I said earlier, the, the process. You know, I think our kids believed, our coaches believed, and, and we talk about it all the time. That's all we need. We just need the guys that are in that locker room to believe in each other and, and, and believe that, what we're doing are the right things to get us where we need to go. Yeah, I think there were some people that were surprised, but I also think the people that know our coaching staff and, and know our kids, I, I think it, it wasn't necessarily a surprise. It was more like, all right, we knew this was going to happen. We just didn't know when it was going to happen. So, you know, hopefully we can get to replicate that, though. That'll do it for your morning sports. Have a great Wednesday.